What is the fear of America? Is Hamas a force that needs to be sent in? Why is it necessary to send U.S. troops to support Israel? So America is feeling the signs of a new war? Who will come to fight in Gaza? Will Gaza become a battlefield for the superpowers? These questions have come to the fore since the U.S. announced it would send warships in support of its historic ally Israel. Not one, but two warships are on alert around Israel with sophisticated fighter jets. U.S. money and arms support is a regular occurrence in Israel. The announcement of the deployment of warships and the final deployment of U.S. troops is fueling a war frenzy in the Palestinian territory. Iran, a major supporter of Palestinian independence fighters, has announced that Gaza will become a graveyard for Israeli soldiers if a ground offensive begins. Israel has sided with the United States since the start of the conflict a week ago. Washington helped the country with money and weapons. Following this, the United States has prepared military personnel. They will fight for Israel at any time. White House Deputy Press Secretary Sabrina Singh said in a statement on Tuesday that about 2,000 U.S. troops are on standby due to the security situation in the Middle East. However, no official decision has been taken on their deployment. However, U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin has already asked 2,000 troops to be ready. But the U.S. has said these troops will not take part in direct combat will provide medical and logistical support. International media say that the 2,000 troops that have been prepared will be sent to the southern coast of Israel. This U.S. move is certainly not to stop Hamas or the Palestinian independence movement because the Palestinians have not become a power that requires America to deploy warships and troops to protect another power like Israel. The U.S. fears the possibility of Iran and Iran-backed armed groups going to war over this conflict. America thinks that the existence of Israel will be in danger if the forces supported by Iran get involved in the war with Iran means opening up the shadow front of Russia, China, and North Korea in the region. American officials also say that by sending troops and warships, the United States wants to send a message to Hezbollah, an armed group in Iran and Lebanon, so that they do not join the war in Gaza. Washington does not want the Israeli-Palestinian conflict to spill over because it has the possibility of putting the United States itself at risk America fears another large-scale war outside Ukraine he does not want the eyes of world politics to turn away from Ukraine and that is why the Biden administration has taken a controversial decision to unilaterally organize an army rally on behalf of Israel. Of course, America did not need so much ambition to protect Israel. But this time, the context is different America is not able to pull countries like Saudi Arabia and Egypt in favor of Israel. Foreign Minister Anthony Blinken is not getting any response from the Arabs despite repeated meetings America fears that Israel will be left alone in a possible major war he fights on many fronts simultaneously.